Hello everyone, this is Guy And Barry Bobbins. And today we're playing another Sega CD game on the Sega CD. No, you don't say! You don't say! Actually, I guess you do say. So, yes, we... If you already saw one of our more recent videos, as in we did it today, but you may not be getting it yet on the channel, I don't know, for sure. Uh, you may want to turn this one down a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, okay. Anyways, we did Ground Zero Texas just recently, and now we are doing... Time Gal. Yes, Time Gal. Whoa! It's like being on drugs already. Yeah! It's okay. Well, I should explain how this game is. It plays like Dragon's Lair, where you have to press the buttons at the right timing. And um, there is, uh, unlike in Dragon's Lair, you do get a password system to continue your progress. So it's basically a quick time event kind of game. And pretty much in the game, you go through different time periods. So you can fight pirates, you fight in World War II, and stuff like that. And yeah. I see. Oh, hey, this is actually kind of cool, because they're doing it kind of anime style. Well, this game, it's funny because on the cover art, it's not anime, but in the actual game, it is anime. Yeah. Well, see, ladies and gentlemen, you may not know this, but I'm quite a lover of anime. Wow, this is actually really anime, and kind of cool. Yes, I like me my anime, particularly anything that did not come from this generate, well, from this current generation of stuff. I do not really like, actually, I don't like Naruto. I don't like Avatar and stuff like that. I like me my 1990s anime, and sometimes 1980s if I want to go Well, this game that. came out in 1992, so... Yeah, okay. So, so this is like early 90s anime. Yeah. The people may not have never even heard of this game, but there's a game I ri or not game, sorry, movie that I really like called Read or Die. It's not some newfangled Read or Die that I've heard exists. It is in, it's a movie from the 90s, and it is super epic, and if you don't watch it, and yet you claim to like it, Read or Die, the series, I mean, you are a noob. Go watch this one instead, and then no. Be anyway, into the actual game. It says 1993, but I think it was 1992. It was somewhere around there, but, um... Didn't you say that Sega CD came out in 93? Uh, I can't remember if it was 92, 93 or 92. Uh, the, what, the Sega CD we're using is the Model 2 Sega CD, and we're using a Model 2 Sega Genesis. So, yeah, um... I'm not sure when the Model 1 Sega CD came out, but that one had like an actual tray, whereas the one we're using has like a kind of a flap like door or something like that. But you, you get to choose your difficulty, so there's different difficulty settings in the game. There's easy, normal, and hard, but let's try normal because we don't want to make this Let's Play too long. You can choose how many lives you want. I can't remember. I think FX is for sound effects. So let's get into the actual game. So the controls in this game are basically... A, B, and C are the exact same thing, which is basically use uh, your um, your gun or whatever, and you just press the buttons that they tell you on in a certain direction. Hmm. Okay, so already and I screwed up, but it is actually a pretty difficult game. Mm -hmm. But the good news is you do get a password system, so you can if you beat a level, you can continue where you left off though. All right, so. It looks interesting, but I'm just gonna say right off the bat, the graphics are a little bit... Well, it's like a CD, though. Oh yeah, I, I understand that, and for that I can be kind of forgiving. But I'm not noticing any voice acting, just... Yeah. And I beat the first level. Oh, nice. So you went back to 1600 BC just to jump around from a... I should also point yeah. out when all the, uh... When all four of those blue balls start flashing red, that's when you have to press either the A, B, or C buttons. So, if it's on the top, press up, or bottom, down, you get the idea. Yeah. B, C, what year is that? Seven million? And I messed up there. I haven't really played this game too much, so I'm not too familiar with it. So I'm going to get a game over pretty quick, and I don't think this is going to be a really long Let's Play, so... Yeah. You know, it kind of sucks to be Time Gal, I think, because she just seems to be traveling through time just to die <laughs> or to not die for that matter but sometimes she says something like you can't catch me you can't catch me that's pretty much the only dialogue well in the, as far as i'm aware that she says in this game that's kind of unfortunate <laughs> oh, push the wrong button <laughs> uh no you're wrong There's yeah i was wrong. wrong yeah like i said i haven't played this game too much so let me go Wow. Whoa. 
I'm not sure if she kind of has being crushed coming to her. Whoa, she is something athletic, I must say. Oh, no. Nintendo guy just died. In one of the death sequences, there is a scene where her underwear actually does rip. I'm not even kidding. I bet that was enjoyable for you, eh, Nintendo guy? Yeah. Oh. Actually, I guess that would be a lie. I'm more into the anime stuff. You are not into it like that. But it is a really difficult game. Like, you only get, like, one second or something like that to actually react. So I have one more credit left. And then after that, well, I, it's either one or two more credits left. And then, then after Barry that, Bobbins. Yeah, it's Barry Bobbins. Barry Bobbins time to show Nintendo how to play Okay, the seriously, anime. the buttons keep on switching. So in some of the levels, sometimes it's on the right, sometimes it's on the left kind of thing, but... But this is actually a pretty good Sega CD game. If you have a Sega CD, I would suggest checking it out. Seriously, that thing looks like it's from Pokemon. Uh, I just remembered. My baby sister finally learned how to sing the Pokemon song. Oh, that's cool, Very but good I beat the second level. Mm. You think it's cool until she starts screaming, Pokemon, Mon, Mon! Okay, just, 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 just like, please, that hurt my ears. I'm sorry. I, hey, well, now you know how I feel. <laughs> BC4, so now we're in the gladiator times. It's Maximus Septimus Doofusus something or other is. The Romans sure like their, their is names. Maximus, Spartacus, Hardicus, Darticus, Sharticus, Glarticus, Blarticus, Mahardicus. Yeah. Well, that was a fail. Ah. <laughs> so in case you don't know, ladies and gentlemen, when they show that little streak through the air, she's probably getting herself cut up and killed. Yeah. I'm pretty sure anybody wouldn't notice that by now. Yeah. So, so I'm trying to figure out then, is there like any storyline to this game? It probably says in the instruction manual, but the future, I can't remember, it said that 2012 is supposed to be the future in this game. <laughs> what did you just put your name as? Ass. <laughs> Very <laughs> typical, but anyway. Um, yeah, cool, that's because what you are. That's but 2012 is supposed to be the future in this game, and in that level, you're supposed to be riding on hover bikes and stuff like that. So anyway, I got a game over. Well, it seems pretty historically accurate. <laughs> so anyway, your turn. Unless if you want to watch this intro again. <laughs> May as well, let's watch it again, or I oh, don't care. Oh, sorry, I skipped it. Oh, well. I actually kind of like the intro, I'm not going to lie. Ladies and gentlemen, if you re-watch this video just to see that cutscene, I won't blame you. No, I want to watch. I'm going to play the game. All right, so start. I press A, game start. Mm -hmm. And if all, all, all the blue oh, things flash... I just remembered, what buttons am I supposed to press? It'll tell you when it starts flashing red, you push a direction uh, and you go. Oh, on the D-pad! Yeah, on the D-pad. Oh, now I understand. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now I'm prepared for this. But it is actually a pretty hard game, though. You only get, like, a second to react, pretty much, but... Aw, oh, come on! Come I... on! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, th this game doesn't give me a lot to react. Yeah, we're playing this on normal difficulty, though. We're not playing it on easy. Come on, Barry! Use your Asian scares! Your Asian scares! Oh, I almost had it. But uh, there are checkpoints in the levels, I think, but yeah. Yeah. Still, though, I did pretty good there. Better than you, Amazing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> BC 70 Oh, come on! <laughs> Give me a split second of this. <laughs> Maybe we should have set this on easy de setting, do you think? Yep. Because in easy, I think you get more seconds to react, I think. Normal is expecting you to be a regular Asian. And <laughs> yeah. I am not Asian. Well, this is an anime kind of game, so of course most Asians would probably be playing this, I don't know. Uh, is there a way of me setting it onto normal or easy difficulty? Do you want me to set it to easy? Yes. Okay, let's restart this. <laughs> that is the only way I can beat this game, ladies and gents. 
Oh, he pressed the restart button. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I just pushed. Wait, the wait, wait. Just oh, I want them to listen to the C Sega CD beginning. Yeah, I think they've already listened to it in the intro. Oh, true. Well, it's a pretty epic song. I'm not gonna lie, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. <clears throat> Do you want to watch this, or what do you want to do? Um, we don't want to waste any time. Yeah, good point. So. Okay. Here, let's how many? Li let's set your lives to four. Normal. Easy. No, not hard. I will die instantaneously. Yeah, I've never actually played this on easy, so give it a try. I will win. Uh oh, I'm back. Whoa! Why did I never play this one? <laughs> there we go. Now I'm Asianing it up. <laughs> ah! Oh, come on! You did pretty well there. Yes, I must say I did. Especially I gave you the maximum amount of lives, too. Good, good, good. What is with the red dudes? Ah! Oh, you have to press all the buttons. Uh, you have to press A, B, or C when that happens. Oh, A. Ah! Any, any one of the three buttons on the Genesis controller. Fife and Hype! I just shot them. Nice. Oh, no! No! I pressed the... No! Uh-oh, what are they gonna do? Um, they're cannibals. Uh. Bam! Bam! That's what I thought! <laughs> Y'all ain't good enough for this. Um, push A, I think, or any direction, I can't remember. Any direction or shooting, I can't remember. You beat it. I don't know how you did that. Neither do I, but I did it, ladies and gentlemen. Or did you? No, just push start. I, I, I can't remember what you have to do there. I have to do something. I can't remember. What? I don't think you beat it, that's the thing. Oh, come on. Wow, this chick dies a whole lot. <laughs> Like, seriously, if anybody was uh, as unlucky as she is... <laughs> oh. oh yeah, sometimes the, um, the levels actually do become mirrored. Yeah, I noticed that. Oh, give me a break! Ah, my beard is not pleased. Please, Dad. Please. Okay, down. Side. Side. Up. No, oh, come on! Berry Rage. Oh, they're gonna see some Berry Rage in a second here, because I'm Berry Man. To quote, um, Strawberry Shortcake. There we go, Strawberry Shortcake. <laughs> and only Stop you off. would know that. Yes, because unfortunately I've had the pleasure of watching Strawberry Shortcake with my baby sister. Ah, no, no, wrong way, there we go. Ah, yeah. Bam, bam, there we go! Use my laser gun. I catch the enemy with... Shoot the enemy. And then... How did you do that? You're supposed to choose which one's... No, you're supposed to shoot the one that is holding the net? I guess. It's like, it, like you have to push a direction on the D-pad and then shoot or something? I, you're, I... you're supposed to figure out which one has the net. And yeah. shoot them. It's very convoluted, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I haven't really played this game too much because I got my Sega CD just a couple of weeks ago, so... And obviously I've never played this game before in my life. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. You thought you would get me, but no, no, you didn't. Oh no, you didn't. Oh, you did. <laughs> Kabam! Bam! Right in your face. That's what I thought. Uh, I think it's 
that's that one. Oh, you got it right. And you beat the first level. You beat the level. I did it! Now my Asian skiers are up. If anybody is Asian and takes offense to that, I am sorry. I actually have a lot of respect for Asian people. Well, uh, Asian people are amazing. I think crazy. the most at the beginning, you just press the button, the regular button. He's not good looking. He's wearing a mask. How would you know if he's good looking? Stop being a tool. Oh, was I supposed to press one A, B, or C there? Yeah, one of those buttons. Oh, give me a break. Because when all the blue things flash, that means you have to press those buttons. Any one of those. Not all of them, just one of them. Well, I could do it right there. I could press the... Did she just ask him how old he was? No idea. Come on, you're not honestly going for this guy. He's like from 44 BC. That is not good. Not good taste time, gal. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, I'm going to kill her, aren't I? Side step. Up above. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Run. Come on! Ah! Ah! I'm gonna die! Ah! No! I was I'm doing sure you so well. the checkpoint. Oh wait, you got a game over. But um, game over. But do anyway, you, do you want to try to get an Nintendo guy, or shall we call it quits? Um, my chips. My fingers are full of grease right now. I was just eating salt and vinegar chips. Bab. <laughs> Bab, I'm the only one that gets that. Okay, so anyways, what do you think? Um, I want to try it on normal. Hang on. Alright. But I'll be right back. Just Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Nintendo guy, he's going to give it another go around, except for now he's going to walk away and ignore me. So we're going to watch this cool Asian cutscene again. Do, 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 do. I suck at singing. Well, it's still kind of cool anyways. You know? I'm all by myself and I'm being abandoned by my good friend. Hey, World War II and somewhere in the future. And 2012 apparently, I guess that is. And I have no idea what's going on there. And this is the dinosaur level again. And this is... Uh, oh, pirates! Look at that! This is very historically accurate, okay, so ladies and gents. Let's do this. All right, Leroy, you got this. Leroy, yeah. Actually, should I try this on easy just for the heck of it? Yeah, because you failed at normal, so try it on easy. Which would probably take a little longer, but hey, we. You have better Asian skills than I do. Oh look! If it isn't our good friend, the mammoth thingy, yeah. elephant. Elephant. No, it's not a mammoth. It would have fur if it was a mammoth. No, it's a mammoth. It's oh, a mammoth. yeah, it is a mammoth. Yeah. Oh. She's... She, like, almost gets drowned quite a bit in this. Hmm. I just don't get it. Like, is she going to all these time periods to experience death? Is that um, what she's doing it? I, I, I can't remember the storyline to this. You have to do time traveling or whatever because some evil organization is looking for something in the past. I can't remember. So you're going to die before you can stop them? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Isn't this the exact same, like, um... Well, I got a game over, though. Well, no, no, but isn't it... Aren't you doing the exact same levels you did before? Yeah. Pretty much. How come I didn't? Well, because the levels are random each time you play, I think. But how'd you get the exact same outcome? Well, because you played, and then I... Oh, I because I pl because I played, you played... It's kind of hard to explain. So it... 
went and did your same one again. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, that was close now. And if you thought that Sonic CD was the only Sega CD game that required time traveling, there you go. There's, here's another game that has time traveling in it. Kind of makes me think that maybe they were trying to tell us something back in those days. Like, you know, we want to learn time traveling. How old are you? Are you single? Are you busy tonight? No. <laughs> I'm gonna get that put on my cell phone, I think, for the, for the ringtone. Every time somebody calls me, I'll be like, Oh, got the time travel! Hello. Whoa. Is he riding on that? Uh, yeah. Why did be that level? Okay, she could have blown him up in the first place. Why didn't she? That makes no sense. I think when you're playing on easy mode, you don't get the passwords, but that's what I think. Because they don't expect you to suck this bad at easy, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, here we go. Tarzan! Our good old friends... Oh, if you, I think if you die in this level, that's the one where her panties rip. I think. <laughs> Do you want to die? <laughs> no. Oh, shit. Well, it looks like you don't get a choice. That's quite the face. <laughs> yeah. And that, ladies and gentlemen... That should be our picture profile at our Let's Play. <laughs> it should be. That, ladies and gentlemen, though, is the face of an anime from the 80s and 90s. Is that a giant turtle? Yep. Shoot, and we go up. Maybe I should have shot him downward. Oh, I see. You gotta shoot its head or stomach or something. Dude, dude, dude. Do, 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 do. But overall, I think this is a really good FMV game for the Sega CD. Mm. Definitely. Even though the Sega CD is well known for being the graveyard of FMV games. Yep. I wonder if they're going to make any more FMV games in the future. You know what? I kind of wish they would, actually, because... I don't know, we're, the video game market is too saturated with, like, generic first-person shooters, but we don't get a whole lot of FMV games. Like, kind of like the... Like, when I say FMV games, I'm talking about, like, Dragon's Lair or Time Gal, where it's, like, all quick-time events and stuff. Uh, oh, I see you get to choose... I never Wait. knew that. You actually do get to choose the options. I didn't know Are that. you kidding? Ah! <laughs> You gotta be joking! I didn't man. know that. I thought you just had to push a direction on the D-pad and press A or B or C or something. Okay, if anybody in the audience knew that before we did, please tell us in the comments box. Um, but don't be a jerk about it. Just let us know so that we can be sure if you know we were missing anything that was painfully obvious. But like I said, don't be a jerk about it because nobody likes a jerk. Surfing, surfing do, do, in the do, USA. Do, do. Everybody's surfing. Everybody's super surfing, surfing racing. What? Instead of supersonic racing. Awesome. By the way, nice cross shot, by the way. <laughs> okay, I thought. Wait. Right, catch enemy with net? Nope. I want to shoot enemy. Oh, wait. Nope. No. I think you shoot the enemy, I think. What was it that I did? I thought I caught them. You did something, but I don't know what you did. It was just by some fluke or something. Yeah, I just kept pressing the directional pattern <laughs> all sorts of ways. <laughs> uh, get away? Oh! Maybe it is get away. Or, no, it's shoot enemy, okay. No, because you died. Oh, yeah. Which makes did, no sense! How, how did she, I die? How did she die? I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, we are thoroughly confused. Is this something to do with the space-time continuum or something? Could be. How many times are we going to see that crotch shot? Okay, I thought I was the one into anime chicks. What, okay. what is with you? 
No, get away, get away, get away. There you go. Oh, yeah. It's kind of weird. They switched the positions of the options just to screw you up or whatever. Indeed they have. It's like they're a troll. It's like the game is being a troll. Well, oh, yes, wait. World War II. I've never done this level. They do realize that in 1941, that was the beginning of World War II, and I, I'm trying to remember, I don't think that there was that many airplane battles by 1941. Uh, well, there was a video game on, no way, that's 1942. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, there was a video game on the arcade and NES, and it was called 1942, and that was what, an airplane shooter. Didn't we do a Let's Play on that already? Yeah, we did. Okay. But then there was a sequel called 1943, which we haven't done. Wait, I think those are supposed to be Japanese planes. Okay. Uh, um, jump into the ocean. Hope for luck. <laughs> uh, yeah, jump into the ocean. That seems more reasonable. Hope for luck seems like a better idea. <laughs> I hope I'm lucky. Bam! <laughs> nope, guess I'm not. Hello, and welcome. Hello, and welcome. I can't believe I'm... <coughs> oh. Okay, she'd be dead. She'd have been cut up by that. Video game <sighs> physics, my friend. No, yeah. video game logic, excuse me. Or physics logic, I don't care. Yeah, I think it's video game logic. Oh, there we go. Made it to the next level. Okay, the only reason why I'm doing so well is on this is because I'm putting this on the easiest setting possible. You're in 500 AD now? Yeah. Where are you? Like, these are all these levels. I've never had a chance to play them yet. I, these levels are new to me. You're in 500 AD. Oh, push left instead of down. Did he just hit her where I think he did? Yeah, I think so. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, but I don't remember 500 AD looking like that. I'm pretty sure that by 500 AD, they still would at least have enough literacy to say more than, yeah! Yeah, yeah. Donkey Kong Country. Wait a second. By 500 AD, they wouldn't have mine cards. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Ah, uh, historical inaccuracy game. This game has taught me so much about history. Yeah, I guess it has. Pew! Seriously, this is like a level from Donkey Kong Country. So, <laughs> yeah, that? nice paw shot right there. It's like a female version of Mario. Yeah! <laughs> Yippee! The graphics go really weird here. It's like a CD game, man. I know, I know. Nice job, Nintendo. I know, that's what I was thinking. What is this weird dude doing here? Again! What is with this? I, I mean, I know that... Oh, oh, guess who's dead. Anyway, that is that should be enough for our Let's Play, but... Yeah, of course, you get to play twice. Barry Bottoms only gets to play once. Uh, oh, well, I suck anyways. But yeah, I think that overall, if I was to give a rating to this game, ladies and gentlemen... Honestly, I'd have a hard time not giving it a 9 or a 10 out of 10. This game is pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, is it better than Ground Zero Texas? Definitely. Yeah, I have to agree with you. Um, granted, the graphics aren't the best, but of course, during this timeline, graphics never were the best. Uh, so the music is amazing. It's the too loud, though. Do you mind turning it down just a little bit? Oh, fine. Pansy. Anyways, so the music is pretty cool. The um, storyline seems non-existent, so I can't really rate it on that. Yeah, the game is a little too. Did I just see a Grim Reaper right there? But anyway, um, uh -huh. but yeah, the game is a little. Uh, it, there, it, there, there are. Yeah, that part's from 2012. That level, but anyway, um, there are some parts that do seem a little bit out of place, like the mine carts in the year 500 AD. Well, uh, that doesn't really bother me. The historical inaccuracy, because lots of people do that and stuff. Um, so yeah, I thought that this was overall pretty good. I like the gameplay especially. Fairly simple and entertaining. Um, you have something nice to look at the whole time because there's this chick- No, I'm just kidding. Um, 
No, the graphics, I, I don't know if I finished talking about that. They're all right. Not the best, but pretty good, I suppose, considering the time and considering how much movement is going on in the game. Yeah. So yeah, I'd say that this game is an 8, 9, or a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I'd probably rate it somewhere around there. Like, I love the original Dragon's Lair, so um, this game is probably just as good as Dragon's Lair in my opinion. Yeah, definitely. So anyway, um, that is the end of our Let's Play. This is Nintendo Guy. And Barry Bobbins. Saying take care and see you later. And I'm a cute Asian girl. <laughs> what did you say? And I'm a cute Asian girl. Did, did you hear me say that? Uh, you said something about Asian girl, but I, 